Hello guys, I'm the Kegman. Welcome back to Kegman Plays, the home of mediocre content, and you are watching the European Journeyman with New City AFC. So, I'm bringing it back a little bit early. So, we were going to come in and play the Dundella game. That's been pushed down thanks to Cup games. Um, we're going to come back for the Knock Breda game. So, there's two reasons why we're doing that. One, because the Dundella game got postponed, but also because... Although I asked you to comment on the previous episode, I have thought about it. Maybe I should probably bring in a few games uh, per season, so you get to see a bit more of the actual action. So that's what we're going to do. Um, Not is a very important game today. But before we have a look at that, let's have a look. So we drew one all with the police service thanks to a Daniel McGill own goal in the 82nd minute. That was a galling episode, to say the least. Um, we'll see. If I say episode. You didn't see it because it wasn't in an episode, but it was galling for me. Uh, we then played against Limavady United, and we went 3-0 up, and then in the 70th, 70th, 73rd, and then the 89th minute, Plamen Kolev scored a hat-trick. Um, they dominated that game, they deserved the win, we were very, very lucky, um, but as you can probably imagine when that 89th minute goal went in, I was livid. <laughs> I mean, I was livid. Um, we do take on Knockbreda today. Now, the reason we come back for this game is because Knockbreda are in seventh. Uh, they are one point behind us. A win today against Knockbreda can see us go a little bit further ahead. We're on the same points as Ballyclare. Uh, sorry, we're not on the same points as Ballyclare. We're three points ahead of Ballyclare. Ballyclare are playing against the police servers who are in 11th place. Another reason why I was annoyed that we drew. If Ballyclare lose and we beat Knockbreda, we go four points clear of Knockbreda and six points clear of Bally Clare. We're going to be staying in that top six, and we want to stay in that top six. Carrick Rangers are away to the Mavada United. If the Mavada United uh, win, of course, we then leapfrog Carrick. Um, and Ball and the Mallard have got Queen's University in their bottom, so they're going to probably go a little bit further away from us. Um, Institute versus Dundella could be an interesting one. Harlan the Wolf versus Dyingstown. That should be Harlan the Wolf. But, I mean, it's... It's, a, it's an important game, to say the least. So, in the previous game I played, I actually brought in uh, Gviazda, uh, this, this man here. And to be fair, he had a fairly good game. But we're going to switch his role to a slightly better one for him. Um, Erwin got himself injured. So he's injured now for three weeks, so we need to remove him from the team. Um, we do have, of course, Leckie on the bench. Mr. Is it Adam? I want to say it's Adam. Adam Leckie. There we go. So we're going to bring him in because he can play a multitude of roles, including this role that Tegger is playing. Um, sticking to the 44 wide asymmetric for now, we may switch it up. You never know. Depends on how things go. But let's get involved. One last load. I'm going to have a slurp of me hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. So getting into the dressing room. I think we're probably favourites. Um, we're not at home, so I'm not going to tell them I expect to win. But I want them to go out there and impress me. Not interested. They're not interested. Of course they're not. Because I recently upped their training schedule. <laughs> yeah. Training intensity has gone up. You may ask why. Because it was set too low. That's why. Um, I need them to work harder. They've got to work their bollocks off. They're getting paid per week to play football. You think I'm not going to make them work their bollocks off? You've got another thing coming. McGill with a little clearance out to touch there. Um, a few fans about. Not many. <laughs> I think that's typical of Northern Irish football at this level. I think it's fairly typical of Northern Irish football in general, I believe. Um, again, if you're Northern Irish and I'm incredibly wrong, do let me know. I know that some of the games can be rather intense. I know that there are some very, very staunch and strong rivalries in Northern Irish football. But then they're obviously at the bigger teams. Uh, oh, hello, Sharvin. Donnelly. Okay, McCauley clears it. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting uh, to see your comments along those sort of lines. I would love to know if there's um, if there is oh fucking hey, Sharvin on the break. Uh, cleared it out. If there is a massive and I mean massive Northern Irish like derby coming up soon, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can get it on a live stream and I'll watch it because I don't. I've, I've watched some Northern Irish football, but I've not watched much. And I wouldn't mind watching the odd game here and there. Especially if I know it's going to be like a, an absolute fucking ding-dong, you know? I know some of them are. So, it's kind of a bit back and forth here today. Uh, still early doors. Not better seem to have the other hand, so fuck me. 
They seem to have the upper hand so far. Jesus, what an attempt. Keeper. Heaney had to fucking work hard for that. He really did. Colbert now with a free kick finds Donnelly on the edge of the area. I think we need to switch up to very attacking. Um, in fact, probably not the wrong way. I think we need to switch down to positive. I want to remain attacking. Yeah, they're really pushing. Let's make those changes. I want to stay attacking because, well, you know me, I like to attack. Warnock to McNeil. Guazda. McNeil again. Oh, it's a looping shot. Tested Evans there. Delaney. Wide out and cave. Lynch. Free kick. Mm. I want to say I made this too chocolatey. It's tasty. Go to tell the team to show some passion. Because why the hell not? McCauley with the terrible ball there. Oh, and Heaney saving him. I'm absolutely saving him there. Because Heaney knew that if, if not Predator had scored a goal there, I would have throttled him. Genuinely, I would have found McCauley in real life. Fucking twat. What's this for? You know what for. Lynch. Oh, never mind, Hayne. Warnock, edge of the area. Finds Guiadsta. Guiadsta. Delaney. Oh, it's a good effort from the young man. Cleared out by O'Connor, though. Bouncing off the upright. Let's get creative, lads. Get creative. Take it. Corley. Crossfield drive to Warnock. Plays it off to Lynch. McNeil. Take it. Out wide again. Warnock. Good play here from... I was about to say it's a good play, but then Lynch cocked it up. So they've got greater possession here, unfortunately, for us. O'Connor to Colbert. O'Connor. Henderson. Cleared by Spence. No nonsense. And it's McCabe. No support for the youngster. Gets tackled and Statini launching a counter-attack. Warnock clears it. Donnelly. Henderson. Hannah. Warnock back again. Heaney. Hoofs up the field. Corbett to Henderson. Crawford again. Long back and forth here. McCauley picks up that errant long ball forward. Plays a dangerous ball again. He's going to get a throttling. He really is. It's a long ball over the top. Now McCabe. Can he do something here? Oh, Evans gets down low and stops him. Denies him. It was a good effort, though. Probably should have gone high. Might chip over him, but you know, what can you do? Warnock with the throw. McCabe. I'm like desperate to drink some of this. Lynch. McCabe. Mitchell. Oh, McNeil. With a great goal. McCabe with the assist. I'm happy with that. It's a good little drive, that. See that again. Lynch. McCabe. Strikes first time. True. Top right hand corner. Top bins. Lovely. We've gone up to fifth. Which is what I like to see. Well, actually, I like to see it say they've gone up to first. But it's not going to happen. I mean, mathematically, you know. Um, so who's above us again? Carrick. And they are drawing with Lemavardi. Ball and Mallard are winning against uh, Queen's University 2 1. By the way, I'm, sh I'm sure it's not Ball and the Mallard. I'm pretty sure it's Ball and the Mallard. But um, Ball and the Mallard sounds funnier, doesn't it? I mean, I might be wrong. I might be Ball and the Mallard. Heaney there with the dramatic save to stop that cross floating over. Over dramatic, son. Just glad he didn't punch it away. Great tackle. Tag it. And he goes as far as Colbert. Is that Colbert or Cubert? Hannah. To Henderson. And it's Colbert. It's Colbert. Okay. To Henderson again. Back to Colbert. Henderson. Hannah. Controlling the midfield play here, not Bretta. Sharvin. O'Connor in a bit of space, but Warnock. Backtracks. Clears it. No nonsense. Fucks it off. Uh, yeah, we'll make those changes. It's fine. Um, not going to get a shout in now. We're going to wait till the start of the second half. Henderson with a corner. And <laughs> fucking defender. Who was that? Is that McCauley again? McCauley, mate, you are going to get a punch. I'm telling you. You are dog shit. What are you doing? The ball comes out. Huh? There. <laughs> Delaney. Free kick, Lynch, Guiesta! 
Oh, what a finish. First time here as the ball came back down to him. Top bins again. Lovely shot. Off the crossbar as well. I want to see that again. I mean, the ultimate Liddy goal was pretty shit, but I mean, actually, no, that was a pretty good goal. Lynch playing a backward header. Griazda in space. Oh, no, no, that's that's a fantastic goal. One of my favourite goals I think I've scored. That's not me personally, is it? I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that indeed. Dressing room. Lads, honestly, we're 2-0 we're away. I'm very happy. Don't let it drop. Just keep it going, all right? Keep it going. Uh, we're on very attacking. We are going to switch it down to positive. It may be detrimental, but I, 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 just, I don't want to risk things. I want to stay attacking, but not too attacking. McNeil, take it over the top. And it's to nothing. Of course it is, because it's a kickoff highlight. Very rare does it change into something exciting. Um, so, we are actually on the back foot when it comes to t uh, stats. We've got more shots on target. We've had the same amount of shots, more on target. But they've had much more possession than we have. Um... I don't want to change anything though, because we're winning. What is the point in fixing something that isn't broken? I mean, there is some point to it, because if they got a possession there... Yeah. Do I want to try? What, what we're doing tactically at the moment? Let's have a quick look. We are playing short passing. Let's go for mix. Um, let's focus play through the middle. Yeah. I want to work the ball into the box. I want to do that, I think. I think those things will make us retain possession a bit more. We've got more players down the middle than we have anywhere else. Piazda, Lynch, Delaney. And I want to work that ball into the box. We're having too many shots from outside box, I think. I said, take it. Piazda, McNeil, Lynch. And why are you backtracking? That is negative movement. That's not what you want. Henderson with the corner. I haven't actually um, get creative. <sighs> Hannah with a good effort there. Tested Heaney. He weren't too sure there. Heaney, long ball drive up forward. Up forward. Long ball drive up forward. Long ball drive up field. Delaney over the top. McCabe won't get there. Colbert clears it. But it weren't very, you know, it weren't very good football there. In defence, Hughes now, Maisie little run, gets a cross off, Sharvin, O'Connor does stick one past. Ah, uh, maybe we, um, we do that, and then we do that. Overwhelmed. Oh, we, we can't draw again, we need a win. We need a win, draws are killing us at the minute. We need to be in the top six. I want to be in the top three at the end of the season. We need to be in the top six now. Oh, yeah, we need to be in the top six now. So, the question for you today, ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, I should imagine. Um, when it comes to the cups, now I know obviously cups can be a great source of silverware, um, potentially good for uh, boosting our reputation, obviously looks good on the stats. Do we sack the cups off the cups off though? Do we sack the cups off and just concentrate on the league? We haven't got the depth to really effectively deal with any cup games. I don't even know how many rounds there are in the cup games in, in Northern Ireland. Well let's have a look. We'll have to have a look, see how many games it is to get to the final and then figure out from there. Because if it's like literally four games, then I'll do it. If it's like fifteen, then I might just go, nah put out a weak team if we win we'll put out another weak team if we win we'll put out another weak team so on and so forth obviously if we then get to like four games to go we'll start taking it serious what do you think guy? let me know in the comments what you think we should do when it comes to cup games should we concentrate on the league only oh hello <laughs> don't think so lads you got to wake up alright you got to wake the fuck up every single last cunt in one of you Lynch gets tackled by Hannah. Oh no, I'm 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 not happy with how this is going at the minute. Davy McNeil, William Worry, come on, mate. Uh, what we got? Six point four and six point three, six point four. McGill, no, 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 no. Delaney for McCabe. Delaney for Lecky. Brick the brick shit house. 
Uh, Brendan Shannon and Garth Falconer. Ethan Warnock's on 73%. He's also playing at a 6.8. I think we're going to do that. We'll get some fresh legs on the pitch. We'll do them all now, early. Before they get a chance to get one past us again. McCabe. Over the top. No one on the end of it. Evans. Safe hands. Looking for someone to throw it out to. He kicks it. McGill. Short to McCauley. McCauley. The dog shit defender he has been today. Crawford to Donnelly. Why are you backing off there? Why are you backing off there, McCauley? McCauley at fault for another goal. Why is he backtracking from that defender? That defender literally ran at him. If all you got to do is stick a fucking foot out, mate. That's all you got to do. Wait, was that disallowed? Oh, it's disallowed. It's offside. Thank. <sighs> I wish I'd have taken McCauley off. I really do. Worry. We has that. Lynch. Long ball forward. Lecky. The brick shit house. Can he get there first? No, he does not. He fouls the defender. Little clears it. And Hughes now on the break for knock Bredder. I am not happy with the way this team are playing at the moment. Let's go very attacking. Since we've been on the back foot, since I switched down to positive, we've not been as... Oh, fuck me, Falconer. Falconer. Do not do a McCauley. Do you not fucking think about doing a McCauley. I've already got one wing back who's fucking me off. Don't make it two. Corley, just clear it. Thank you. He could have done a better job of clearing it. Not further off the pitch, but whatever. Okay, just... Oh! Our fullbacks. Oh. Pericons. Absolute pericons. Right. I'm trying to do any shouts at the moment. What can we do? Not a lot. Not a lot, really. Hmm. Josh Takini off for Zach. Bar. Evans plays it wide to Crawford. Crawford long ball up. Fields Connor gets cut out, but Donnelly picks up the cut. Kerr plays it wide to Hughes. Oh, fuck, this is a goal. Ball in the Mallard to all Queen's University now. It's helpful for us. O'Connor Heaney. Bally Clare beating police service 4 1. Oh, that made the table look a minute. We're fifth. Ball in the Mallard. Got a point, so they're going to be on 26. Limavadi, a smashing Carrick Ranger, which is good for us. Bally Clare winning is not so good, though. We need, we need the Bally Clare to lose, ideally. They weren't going to lose against the place service, though. So we, we nearly did. We drew. Henderson smashes it into the wall. Four minutes of injury time. Ref. Ref. No. No, no four minutes of injury time. Okay? I've given away too many goals in injury time recently. You're playing four fucking minutes. You need to go suck a dick ref. McCabe. Okay, all get it sucked. Oh, oh, no one on the end of it. Lecky, you're a brick shit house. You should have smashed that defender over, just nodded it in and gone, what are you going to fucking do about it? Huh? I mean... Oh, here we go. Two all. Fuck for that. Oh, we're on the back foot again. McCabe, just smash it. Just smash it. Just get rid of it. Lecky, just push him over, for fuck's sake. Look at the size of you, you cunt. And you gave the ball away. Right. Just end the highlight now. End the highlight now. I don't... We can't afford another draw. O'Connor. To Henderson. O'Connor again. Fucking clear the cunt ball. Track him down, for fuck's sake. Oh, you're going to get a red, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Can you blow the whistle, ref? Their time is up, ref. Their time is up, ref. Blow the fucking whistle. Or I'll shove it up your ass and you can fart and blow the cunt. Lovely, thank you. Apparently that threat works. So, we didn't deserve the win, but we got the win. 2-1 away, knock Breda. Nice. So, 
Real Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, they seem to agree for the most part. I'm not even going to talk to them individually because I'm just angry with them. I'll end up throttling people left, right and centre. So, it's a good win. It's a good win. Important win, mainly. Important win. Uh, Ball and the Mellar did eventually get their win over Queen's University. Valley Claire did win 4-1. Limvaddy, or Limavaddy, beat Carrot Rangers 3-1. Uh, we beat Knockbreader, obviously. Uh, Harlan and Wolf smashed Dongstown 4 0, and Dumdella in the Institute a 1 0 draw. That's a good result for us, that uh, Institute result. So, we're on 24 points. Bally Clare, who are in 7th place, we need to stay above 6th. Bally Clare are 3 points behind us, they're on 21. So, if we quickly look at the schedule, uh, we have Bally Clare, second to, well, third to last game in the league. So we've got some important games coming up. We've got Institute, which may make the difference. Dundella, not so much. Ball in the Mallard, Carrick Rangers, Bally Clare. Very, very different games. Very, very hard games. So if we have a look at the intermediate... I mean, there's a lot of teams there. Stages. Second round, third round. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six... Um, mid to Cup, that's, that's shorter. Four. Okay, we might concentrate on the mid to Cup. Don't have that the intermediate. And the Irish Cup. Two, three, four, five, six. What is... It's 97 in competition uh, reputation. Two hundred and fifty-one, and mid Alter Cup. I'm assuming lower. One hundred and seventeen. Okay, so we may concentrate on the mid Alter Cup. We're good. We're going to laugh off the intermediate. I think anyway. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think laugh off the intermediate. Concentrate on the mid Alter Cup, and then see if we can do something in the Irish Cup. But mostly concentrate on the league. That's what I think we should do. Lucky, yeah, it is lucky, Leary City on that one, Jesus. Um, so yeah, that is the plan, that is the plan. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games left in the Bluefin Sport Championship at this stage of the season. Don't forget, also, it does break up into two halves in the latter part of the season. One of these are over, and that's just the top six, and then the bottom six that, you know, they're separating, they just play themselves. Um... We have got a chance of getting promotion uh, for this team. We have got a chance. Only five points separate us and Harland and Wolf, and only three points separate us in Institute. And obviously, well, 22 games to play in this part, and then it's, I think we play each other once. I can't remember if it's once or twice. If it's twice, then there's another 10 games to play, which isn't that bad. Not that bad at all. But. As mentioned in the previous episode, should we laugh this off when we are done this season? Should we do that? Um, as it currently stands, there are quite a few jobs available. Um, a lot of jobs we're not going to get. A hell of a lot of jobs we're not going to get. But it might that might change. Okay. Um, Zlatibor. Zlatibor. That would be a nice one. Serbia. Go to Serbia, play, you know, uh, do Zlatibor. Korno Moretz. Um... Uh, a little bit above us. They won't say yes. Uh, Brezic. Brezic in Slovenia. That could be a possibility. Um, Skalika in Slovakia. Possibly. Two star. Might be a bit above us. Um, not even going to worry about the Russian team. So I think they're all way too above us. Yeah. I mean, I've even heard of that. Um, I'm firmly going to be above us. Uh, Finn Harps and Cork City probably both above us. Uh, I'm not so sure about Finn Harps. Cork City will be above us. Estoril way, way out of our league. Noe Sachs definitely out of our league. I'm saying that maybe. No, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. I mean, this is this is all current. This is mid-November, bearing in mind. And there's a, a fair bit of time left to go. But there's a few jobs about. But let me know in the comments what you reckon. Should we stay here or should we fuck it off? And that is the end of today's episode. Of course, if you have enjoyed today's episode, then give the episode a nice big thumbs up. If you're new here and you enjoy my content, why not go ahead and subscribe 
and you get to hear my sexy voice and see my sexy face day after day. Of course, share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at KegmanPlays, and I'll see you when I see you. Take care. Bye-bye.